What's up YouTube? So everybody's been asking me these questions lately very much on my um, Samsung G7 Odyssey uh, videos and this is the PlayStation 4 right here. It's a PlayStation 4 Pro. Mm. You can see right here this is actually the cable that's an HDMI 2.1 which goes rightly, uh, directly into my TV around here. So now as you can see right here this is the other HDMI which goes all the way up right here. It's a short one. I think it's the original PlayStation 4 Pro uh, cable. Now, I need to get this this thing a little bit sorted out because it's an absolute pain in the ass to work with, the um, the tripod. So we're on YouTube right here and it just said that HDMI was connected. Now, we're gonna go over to Source and you can see it's not... it is connected but it doesn't have any screen. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna exit, we're gonna go back into the menu the first thing that you should uh, that you should do before you put on your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro on the Samsung uh, G7 Odyssey. In this case, I have a um, 32 inch. You go into support and you go into information. Now, you can see right here clearly um, my software is the 1009.3. That's the software that you need because the standard software or the standard firmware uh, that you have when you get this out of the box doesn't have the 4K upscale um, option for the PlayStation 4. So this is a 1440p monitor, but they have software adjustments that you can use your PlayStation and play it on an upscaled 4K. So we have it on 240 Hertz. It's 2560 by 1440, everybody knows this. And you can see the software version right there. So we're gonna go back. So after you've updated the firmware, which I also have a video on my channel regarding how to do that, you go into your screen right here, you go to game, you go to your menu, you go to your adaptive sync, and you turn off your adaptive sync. Because adaptive sync is in my opinion, for as far as I know, only something that you use on the PC, which is either G-Sync or FreeSync, your NVIDIA or your AMD adaptive sync or FreeSync or G-Sync is what it's called. So it's called Adaptive Sync here in this monitor or on this menu. So now you can see everything is now yellow. Everything is selectable regarding the Hertz and all that stuff. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually grab, hang on, I need to grab the controller real quick. We're gonna turn on the monitor, or the turn on the PlayStation. As you can see, it lit up, it was blue. And we're gonna go over to the source, and you can see HDMI is now selectable. So we're gonna go into HDMI. Voila, HDMI, PlayStation logo. Now, as far as I know, because I've had this problem before, just like you, everything should be ready to go. So we're just gonna wait for a little second, second and a half, maybe five to 10 seconds, I don't know. We'll just wait here and see what the, uh, the PlayStation does. We're gonna go into the settings. Now, I don't have any sound because I don't have any sound hooked up to my screen because this screen does not have any built-in speakers. So we're gonna go over to our good friend settings menu and we are gonna go to, what was it again? Sound and screen. I'm gonna put this up a little bit. Video output settings. And there you go. It says 2160p RGB. These are the, the options right here on the right side. So, yeah, you can put it on automatic, it's all good. I have it selected on 2160p RGB. Now, for instance, if we go to, let's say we wanna go into Ghost Tsushima real quick, I don't know, um, yeah, that might be a good idea to just check out real quick because apparently there are a lot of people that have problems with Ghost of Tsushima regarding the, um, when you look up to the sky. Now, of course, this whole, thing right here, this whole stupid camera that I'm using, is actually my OnePlus 7 Pro, my mobile phone, and um, it's not gonna be the best regarding trying to translate this to YouTube, making a video. But then again, I wanted to do this um, because as far as I know, when I do screen capture, you can see the, um, look, it says HDR, yeah. You could have seen that real quick. If you wanna pause the video right there, you can see it. Um, 
But uh, what I meant to say is that when you use the menu in the screen down here, that doesn't show up on your recording. So I really have to do this with the mobile phone, mm -hmm. as far as I know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over to continue real quick. Then you can see what this looks like. Just showing you guys this. As far as I know, everything is uh, fixed. Um, of course, you can still go into the menu right here. And um, look, it actually switched over to 144 Hertz because of course, this is a, um, a different uh, input from the screen. And it doesn't have 240 hertz. That's fine. I just left it on 140 fur. Uh, 140 fur. <laughs> it doesn't work like that because the PlayStation 4 Pro even outputs in 60 hertz. So I can technically put it back on 60 hertz, but I left it on 144 because I'm like, yeah, whatever. We'll just leave it on that. We got the response time on faster. Free sync. See, it switches over to free sync because technically there is an AMD chip, as far as I know, in the uh, PlayStation 4. Now I'm not gonna bother with turning that on because as far as I know, that doesn't really do anything. So we're just gonna leave it at that. But uh, I'm gonna turn the camera up a little bit where you can see the edge of the screen. And um, yeah, um, I don't remember. Oh yeah, this was running. I don't see any flickering regarding the, the sunlight or whatever or the sunlight with the, uh, the screen right here, the clouds. So yeah, um, if you ask me, there's no sound, so I can't really do any fighting because I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, so that. Do a little bow. But yeah, as you can see, everything looks really well. It looks really good. Um, I don't know if it's gonna pick up really good on, the, uh, on my mobile phone regarding this recording. But uh, to me, on this screen, of course, I hated that the fact that the frames are not really that great on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So I, I really uh, am more of a PC gamer. I still play on the PlayStation, of course, no problem there. But um, you can clearly see this is not 60 frames per second, as far as I know. And I'm very used to 60 frames or higher. So that's something that I'm, uh, I'm really bummed about. That um, the PlayStation 4 Pro is just really or just the PlayStation 4 in general is just getting really old. That's why the PlayStation 5, of course, is coming up. But if you ask me, that's all been rushed, like, way too much. Like, the Xbox and the PlayStation 5, they've all been rushed to get them quickly to consumers. And you can see that there's, like, still a lot of problems with these um, with these consoles. And uh, just like Spider-Man Miles Morales, where you have the performance mode and the... Um, the beauty mode where you can have like the ray tracing and then they turn the ray tracing off, but you get 60 frames or almost 60 frames. Uh, as far as I know, it's not even steady 60 frames, but whatever, you know, uh, people make do with that. But for me, I'd rather have something that looks a little bit less stunning and have 60 frames per second or more than 30 frames per second and make it look stunning. Because to me, those frames are really uh, making the difference regarding playability. So yeah, this has been a quick, well, it's not really quick. It's almost, uh, or we're almost at the 10 minute mark, but um, this is just an, ex an example slash explanation regarding what you need to do. So step one, get this monitor and then uh, update your firmware. Step two, turn off the adaptive sync in the menu. Step three, then turn on your PlayStation, go into your um, sound and screen settings and check out the 2160p. Hope you guys learned something today. Thank you very much for commenting on my videos. Please leave a like. If you don't like, that's all good. Um, if you hate me, that's fine as well. But do consider subscribing. Even if you hate me, that helps me out a lot. So thank you guys very much. Have a good Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and stay healthy. Peace.